Welcome to the Center for Healthy Communities series, It's Lit, Learning, Informing, and Teaching. Here, we try to explain concepts that you may want a bit more clarity on. Today, we have a special episode. We will be going over student information, such as seat seat applications. The top priority for is ensuring that students so who are hoping to apply to a higher educational institution are well-educated in the process. Applying to college can be stressful. When one is introduced to financial aid, student loans, and the application, the process can be intimidating. However, CHC is here to explain every topic to remove these stresses. The first topic is Cal State Applications. Cal State Applications is a separate application process from FAFSA. The Cal State application offers fee waivers for students who are low income and covers the cost for four different Cal States of your choice. There are a total of 23 CSU campuses all across California, so choose the campus that fits best for you. Fee waivers are offered for families that are low income, as stated on the website. If you do not qualify for the waiver, each fee per CSU campus is $70, and only one general application needs to be filled, regardless of how many campuses the applicant is applying for. Cal State recommends applying as soon as possible to avoid missing the deadlines. The website also provides a checklist of necessary information that is required for the application, such as personal information, school transcripts, and proof of identification. CSU applications also do not require essays for the process. The UC application process is a little different. The UC application requires a personal statement that consists of four different essays with a maximum of 350 words. The UC website provides eight different prompts and you choose four out of the eight prompts. The UC application process considers students through a holistic approach. They consider your GPA, extracurricular activities, and your personal statements. This allows students to express all of the hard work they have accomplished, as well as their personal story. UC applications only requires one application for all the different campuses you would like to apply to, and offer fee waivers for those who qualify as well. However, if you do not qualify for the fee waiver, the application fee is $70 per school. There are eight total UC campuses including Berkeley, Davis, Irvine, UCLA, Merced, Riverside, San Diego, Santa Barbara, and Santa Cruz. Now we will discuss the financial aspect of college. Perhaps you are wondering about your options to pay for college and how this process works. Free application for student aid, or FAFSA, is a free application process for students who are applying to college and universities. Students who apply are given aid based on their family's income. This aid can range from grants, which you do not have to pay back, work study, or student loans. Every year the application portal opens on October 1st and the deadline is June 30th. However, it is important to apply as soon as possible. Just in case there is an error in your application that needs to be addressed, FAFSA can be an easy process and you can contact FAFSA for additional assistance. Now we will discuss student loans. Student loans are subsidized or unsubsidized loans that are offered to students who need additional financial assistance if they did not receive enough financial aid through their grants or if they need to pay tuition with only loans. A trick I learned to remember the difference between subsidized and unsubsidized loans is that unsubsidized loans are unfriendly because they accumulate interest as soon as they are accepted. On the other hand, subsidized loans are friendly because they don't accumulate interest until a year after your graduation. Student loans are a safer alternative as opposed to private loans because student loans offer payment plans based on your income and the interest is at a fixed rate. Student loans can be forgiven depending on your job or if there are any impending social issues like a pandemic. Student loans usually halt their payment to allow financial ease. Receiving a higher education is important to develop the necessary skills of critical thinking, communication, and the ability to have liberty to think freely and pursue an education that reflects your values. Attending a Cal State or a UC will teach skills beyond education. Those who attend will learn about time management, financial literacy, problem solving, and leadership. All of these qualities are important to prepare you for the career of your choice. Although college can broaden career options, it is not necessarily the only path to be successful. We hope that this information will give you better insight into the college process and how to afford higher education. Applying for FAFSA and student loans 
Avoid potential financial obstacles that create hesitation in interested applicants. FAFSA allows students to have less student debt and gives opportunities to students to accept loans that are specifically for students. For more information regarding FAFSA and student loans, visit https studentaid.gov. If you're interested in applying for a CSU or a UC, contact your counselor or teachers for more information and guidance. Don't be afraid to ask questions or ask students who have already gone through the application process to further assist you. Thank you for watching, and please subscribe to the Center for Healthy Communities YouTube channel to learn more.